Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Franca and today I show you a nice look, um, a little bit of glam look, especially for hooded eyes. Because when you have hooded eyes, you have maybe some problems that you the shadow doesn't show up because you cannot see any lid space when my eyes are open. But of course, if you move around, if you talk, you can see a little bit. And this is um, what I will use. I will use some glitter on the lid and some nice uh, purpley shades here on the outside and I will use the Natasha Denona Lila palette and if you want to see which look I can get out of this then just keep on watching and um, be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. So now let's start with the makeup. First I put my hair back. Um, for a primer, we start with the primer. I used the Laura Mercier the foundation primer in Radiant because I really want a glam look and I want that it's really dewy and yeah, shiny and really nice. So, and what I recently discovered for Christmas is it was a Christmas present and I really, really like it. It's the um, Clarisonic and I will use this for the application of my foundation. But if you don't have it, no problem. You can also use uh, like a flat kabuki brush or a sponge. You can use anything what you want. But I will use um, the Clarisonic and maybe the sponge. So for foundation, I will use the um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I think you probably know it. I have the color 5.5. And what I love about this foundation, it is also a, like a satin finish, a little bit dewy and it's really nice. So I take one pump because I'm not this girl who puts a lot on the face. And I will show you a look um, what you can really wear. It's not a YouTube look, it's a look what you can really wear when you go out and um, you don't have to worry. So let's start with this. I think it blends the foundation like a dream. And if you want, you can um, dab a little bit with a wet sponge, just that the, all the excess comes off. For concealer, I use the Catrice Liquid Camouflage and I have the color um, 020, light beige. And as you can see, I have so dark circles. And this one is cheap and it covers it so nice. I show you first on one eye that you can really see the difference. It's so good. And it sticks to the foundation and it doesn't... Um, yeah, it wears on top of foundation. This is really important for me because... Um, some con concealers um, move the foundation around and this doesn't. So this is really, really nice. So can you see the difference? I think it's really amazing <laughs> because my under eye is like, you know, discoloration everywhere. <laughs> and now it's really smoothed out and it looks like normal, <laughs> what I think what it, what it should look like. <laughs> so I'm obsessed with this. It's like the Tarte Shape Tape and it's only like um, like $5 and the Shape Tape is like 20 something like this. So that's really good. Move on to the next eye. Okay. You can also highlight a little bit with this if you want, just like this. A little bit close up. So the best thing about the Clarisonic is that how it blends the contour. So we will do this now. The contour stick for me, and it's also super cool for traveling, is from Smashbox, the contour stick. And you can just, oh, I have to, uh, for contouring like this, yeah? You just put on something here. 
and then a little bit here here around the jawline this one and then oops you will see how this works it's, it's absolutely amazing so Did you see that, how fast, fast it is? It's absolutely amazing. So. Okay, now we just set the face and then move on with the eyeshadow. So guys, now let's move on with setting the face because um, we use a lot of products and it's better to set. So I will use the La Prairie powder. So now we move on to the eyeshadow, the fun part. And um, I would recommend you, if you have hooded eyes, to prime the eyelid. You could use any primer what you want. I use the um, Pro Longwear Soft Aqua Paint Pot from MAC. It looks like this. And as you can see, the concealer already creased, so it's really important that you do this step. But don't use too much, use just a little bit and dab it. Because if you use too much, it's um, and yeah, it's not good. It goes into the lines and it will show up even more and it doesn't look beautiful. So just put a little bit. You can also use the color Painterly. I also have this really nice um, for, the, for the purpley shades. So. so now that when the eyes are primed, you have to set it a little bit and for this reason I take the Sweet Peach palette and I take some of the uh, light shades like this Peaches and Cream and for um, brushes I use the Wayne Goss brushes um, and uh, I will link them down below. It's from his brush set and um, I will use all the five brushes. They cost around $130 I think. And these are by far the best brushes I've ever used. And I have MAC and Soeva and everything like that, and Sigma, everything like this. But these brushes are so soft and really nice for hooded eyes. Okay, I just set it a little bit. And then I go in with a creamy coal pencil. Wedge. Coal. And I use a very cheap one. It's here from Germany. It's from La Cura. This is a brand from a discount, um, from a discounter, yeah, <laughs> where you can buy food. <laughs> but it's really creamy and you can use like anything what you can get from Maybelline or L'Oreal. And if you, if you do it like this, you see it's really creamy and you can just rub it a little bit. And this is what you want, that you can smear it and it's easier for the eye to blend, yeah. So, first thing, what we do. I apply a little bit on the lower lash line on the outer edge. I come a little bit closer and then I hold my eye and I use this as a guideline and I go a little bit up and then I go a little bit right there and I go on the lid so now you think okay this looks like a winged liner what's so new about it but you have created this line here and then you go like above but you can see it because when you have hooded eyes you um, cannot see any liner only here this is where we will put the glitter and but here on the main lid you don't see anything so you have to 
you see it here on the outside. So with this guideline, you just take it a little bit into so this looks now really horrible what you think but this is what I want I take then um, a dense brush with which we can really go into this line so, and when you use this technique the the um, advantage is that you don't need a black eyeshadow so you can use any eyeshadow palette what you have maybe something like this I use now the a lighter palette and there is no black eyeshadow inside so I, I use this for having this uh, deep outer crease so now I take the um, a very light color this is the color nude moth and I take it on my brush I tap a little bit of the excess and with this I create like a new crease. Can you see it? And um, And from this point, you can work up, out, and do a crazy look, but then you have the guideline. And I do this before I do some transition shape, because I want to blend this. And if I have some powder uh, put on before, this creamy um, coal, I cannot blend it so good. You can also blend the coal without any uh, eyeshadow on top, but I like to do it like this, because then yeah, it sticks a bit better to the skin. and. Um, yeah, we will work so uh, so often uh, so hard on this that you know that you will see what I mean. So now I take this small brush from uh, Wayne Gars, it's the number twenty, and I go again in the color nude moth. And now I really focus here and. Now it's really time to blend it upwards that you can really see it. But you can see the difference from this eye to this eye immediately. And you can, you can stop now. You can just apply something here and um, you're totally fine. And you, can ha you have a nice look for daytime even um, when you do this with a, with a brown instead of a black liner. You have a really cool daytime look. And I will do not so much fancy things. I just will intensify it now and um, do it then on the other eye and then we go on with the glitter. So now let's move on to the other eye. I do it the same way. I first apply here. I don't know if you can see it here, but I am. I take the small brush again and then it's like you go into your natural crease you feel it when you when you take the brush and make like this you feel where is the natural bones yeah on your eye and you, you can feel this and just move this brush go a little bit higher and now you can create something really nice like this so just look if it's even, yeah, so, okay, then what I forgot, I forgot to make my brows before, but, okay guys, so I cannot find it, I just take a spoolie from the NYX um, pencil, 
and this is the colour top. I hope so. Yeah. Okay, nothing super good, but nothing too bad. Okay, now I take again the colors, a lighter color from the Sweet Peach palette. I take the color Georgia, you know, gorgeous, really nice. And I take it here in between the eyebrow and the color which we applied because I want no harsh line and I want a soft uh, transition. And this is like my transition shade, what I apply now. Mm, I want to go a little bit deeper with the um, Natasha Denona palette and I take the color, what's the name, Lila, this one here, on a small looks precise shader brush and I go on the upper lash line and just smear this liner Again, I put on the color Layla on the outer edge to fill in this outer portion, also here. And then I go in with the color Nudvina, this one here, and I just blend this. So and then I blend again with this blending brush, it's the number 18 and I blend it a little bit up and then you don't see anything, you don't see harsh lines, it's really nice blended and it's really easy with this shadows and if you have some fallout just kick it away. So, and then what you can do to intensify everything. First of all, you need something on the, mm, on the brow bone. For this, I use the color Junoon. I just put it here. Just a little bit here on the brow bone. Mm. and then blend everything so and this color I also use for the inner part of my eye and for the inner corner here and now I want to put something on my lid and this is now the fun part. I used um, a flat shader, a Lux Smoky Shader brush, and I go in the color Helio. This is this one. And this one I just put on my inner corner. So I take the color Helio and um, I focus here on the lid. Right. Here is really really nice. I really love this combination. It's really good. That's the lower lash line, and I take this color here 
call limit. And I give it here on the lower lash line. And this really brings the look together because it looks really um, intense and purpley. And if it's a little bit too down, just take a clean cotton thing and then it's okay. Okay, and what you can do, you can do it um, in the waterline like a black liner, or you can just put something. So, and for for my um, upper lash line, I take a um, Urban Decay uh, 24 hour 7 glide on pencil for tight lining because um, the other one smears around and it's not so good. So now you can just apply uh, some uh, mascara and you're good to go. But we will do a little bit more. First, I do a little bit more with the eyebrows. As you see here, this uh, brow from Benefit, and I have to clean up my brows right now. Okay, so now we move on with the eyes. So I take um, glitter now. I know, no, no. Before we do this step, step I curl my lashes because when there is glitter on, you don't want to curl the lashes. With glitter on, better you do it before, it's easier. So, I take a brush like this. It's a cheap brush in um, Angles Detailer. I think it was an Amazon thing. A lot of brushes. So, and I take this NYX Glitter Primer. Take a little bit on the back of my hand. And then... I put it here, and then I take the Stila Magnificent Glitter in Kitten Karma, and you have to work really, really fast with this. I apply it here where you can really see it. And then I do the same, be, be sure not to blink. It will do the same on the other eye, right? Okay, I think that is really beautiful. You can apply something there, but you don't have to. Okay, now we let it dry. And when it's dry, you can use a little bit of a eyeliner. I take the Essence Eyeliner Pen Super Fine and Waterproof. And I just have to be... really close. And I just press it there. And I can also do this after mascara. For mascara, I use the Better Than Sex mascara. So, yeah, a little bit of liner is good, but not so much. I would not apply a lot of liner because it's really not so necessary with this look. So. Now we need just a little bit of a blush and bronzer and we are ready to go. What do you think about the eyeshadow?
I take a MAC uh, brush, roll it a little bit, and then I go in And for blush, I also use a Wayne Goss brush, the Gosh Natural Blush in Rose Whisper. Looks like this. Let's take a breath. It's really powdery. For highlight, I take my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Pink Quartz. This one, it's so beautiful. Then I take a brush like this, it's well a little bit. And it's beautiful. But my skin is so glowy now because of the foundation and the and the primer that I don't need so much of. And then I go a little bit like this. Okay, for the lips I use a MAC lip liner in Whirl. And just line my lips. Then I take the color Famous from Smashbox. And then I take a high shimmer lipstick in pink set queen from Bobbi Brown. So got and this is my finished look. This is my type of a glam look for hooded eyes. And um, if you like the video then I would be very happy if you give it a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my channel. In 2018 I want to post a lot of videos, minimum one once a week. And um, yeah, if you want to join me then subscribe and I wish you a very happy 2018 and um, maybe you do this look for New Year's Eve or for a party or for a night out um, when you want to have fun and um, yeah, feel happy. Okay. Good luck and see you in the next video. Bye.